Before we jump into today's video, I must preface that there are major, and I mean major, spoilers for Clanad and Clanad Afterstory. Clanad is my favorite anime series of all time, so I implore you to watch both shows before watching this video, if you haven't done so already. With all of that out of the way, let's jump into today's video. Hey kiddo, you should be off to bed already. You have school tomorrow, and it's getting late. Still gotta brush your hair before going to bed, huh? Alright, but it's straight off to bed after that, got it? I can't stay up late either. There's a big project at work, and Yoshino-san's gonna give me an earful if I show up late. Though I think it'll be less of a lecture and more of a tangent on the importance of love. Guess some things never change. Here, let me. Come on. I've raised you for this long, I think I know how to brush your hair. Yes, I know, I know. Run through it with my hands first to get the knots out. I got it. I can't promise any fancy braids, but I'll show you what I can do. So, how did school go today? Art class, huh? Drawing self-portraits? Well, as long as it doesn't end up looking like a bowl of curry, I'm sure it'll be fine. I can't really help, but you could always try giving Koko-san a call. Fuko's older sister? She was an art teacher. Well, I guess she still is. You could also try asking Sanai-san. Uh, she's a teacher, too, and I'm sure she knows a thing or two about drawing. Speaking of Sanai, uh, it's been a while since we've been over to their place. Uh, the old man's probably losing his mind since he hasn't seen you in two weeks. Though, maybe it's a good thing that you haven't picked up any of his uh, bad habits. Yes, the old man has bad habits, like beating up strangers that enter their store. I can vouch for that one. What? I'm nothing like him. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Finally caught out, huh? But look, they look like they could use a hand. I wasn't just going to abandon our neighbors like that. Though, everyone did say that I was a lot like him. Even the old man said himself once. Still, do you want to go visit them on Sunday? Okay, I'll give them a call tomorrow then. Alright, time for the finishing touches, I guess. Alright, there we go. All done. See, I told you Papa had it under control. Now it's off to bed, okay? Hmm? What I want for my birthday? Huh, you're right. I guess that is coming up pretty soon. I almost forgot. I don't think you have to get me anything, though. I've never been big on celebrating my birthday. A birthday party? I don't know. All my friends are pretty busy with work now, I think. You'll handle it. Are you sure? Don't you have homework and stuff? Okay, 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 fine. If you say you can do it, I won't stop you. 
I think if you're looking for uh, their contact information, it should all be on the fridge. Now that I think about it, it has been a while since I've seen my friends. I guess time does fly when you're an adult. I think the last time we saw them was last year at the New Year's party, right? You think Uncle Sunohara finally got a girlfriend? Yeah, you're right. Probably not. Maybe he finally switched sides. <laughs> I know you talk to Kyo, I mean Fujibayashi-sensei, pretty often, so you're probably gonna invite her. I find myself talking to her more often, too. And if you're inviting her, we gotta invite Ryo and her husband Kape, too. Did you know that Sunohara had a pretty big crush on him back in high school? Crazy. Oh, eh, he found out the truth about it afterwards, but it was still a shock to the system. He spent like two weeks in bed, all by himself, losing his mind. Aunt Kotomi? Y yeah, yeah, I think she's finally back in Japan. For good this time. She's gonna focus on her research in Japan, apparently. Though, she'll probably be traveling a lot for conferences, I think. Hmm. I wonder if Tomoyo will be able to make it this time. Uh, I expect she's busier than all of us, dealing with the town's problems and whatnot. Though, I don't think I've ever seen her face with a problem that she couldn't handle. You're inviting Fuko as well? Hmm. I don't know. She's pretty weird. Still talking in third person and whatnot, but I think she'll fit in just fine with us. Hmm. Inviting Sai-san does sound like a good idea, even though I haven't spoken to her for so long. I'm sure that Sunohara would appreciate that. I wonder if she's still at the old dorm, or if she finally got out of there. Now that you mention it, I guess I do have quite a few friends. I wonder what spaces are big enough to have everyone. Oh, um, I, I know. Uh, how about Miyazawa's bar? You remember her, right? Uh, we went there a few times for her rice pilaf. While we're at it, we can invite Sanai-san and the old man, uh, Yoshino and Ibuki-sensei, and even Nishina-san and Sugisaka-san. Huh. Maybe even old man Komura, if he's still kicking. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> Looks like I got carried away. I guess I'm a bit more excited for this party than I thought I would be. I forgot someone? I'm pretty sure I named all my friends at this point. Heck, I'm pretty sure I named all the people I know. Oh. Right. I, I almost forgot. Uh, I should give him a call too. He hasn't been in the city for years, and I'm pretty sure a change of scenery would be good. Good thinking. We haven't seen him for a long time, have we? Thanks for reminding me again. Hmm. What about you? Do you want anything? What? Can a loving father buy their child gifts every once in a while? Especially when they're putting so much effort in organizing a birthday party for their dad. So, tell me, is there anything you want in particular? Another dongo? This apartment isn't exactly huge. Just like your mom. Fine, fine. I'll see what I can do. Finding one of them is going to be hard in this day and age. I wonder if they still make them. Hey! You've been distracting me. You should be off to bed by now. I'm turning off the light. can't sleep. I thought all that planning would have tired you out. Sing Mama's song? Yeah, it's my favorite too. Just this once, okay? Dango, 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 daikazoku. Dango, 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 dai kazoku. Yanchaya, 
泣きたんご優しいあんたんごみんなみんな合わせて百人家族赤ちゃん団子をいつも幸せの中で年寄り団子は目を細そめてる仲良し団子手をつなぎよ大きな丸りはになるよ街を作り団子星の上みんなで笑えあるよウサギも空で絵を振ってみてるでかいよ月さま嬉しいこと悲しいことも全部丸めて Sound asleep. Just like that, huh? Hey, Nagisa. Are you there? Can you believe it? Who she was all grown up now. Who knew 14 years would pass by so fast? She's planning on going to the same school as us, Ikarizaka Private High School. It, it's not gonna be easy, but she's always been so smart. I know she won't have a problem. I just hope that when she's on the path where the cherry blossoms flutter, she'll be able to take that step. I hope she'll be able to find new and happy things, even when everything changes. I hated that school, I hated this city. But you showed me that both of those things mattered a lot more to me than I thought. I think I love it too now, and I hope Bushiel will be able to as well. I found it, Nagisa. After all this time, something only I can protect. It was right here. It's, it's always been. Right here. <laughs>